Hello dear students, welcome to your PDA. Today I am going to discuss one of the question that was asked previously in BARC interview, Baba Atomic Research Center interview from the subject that is power systems. In fact, uh, the question what we are going to take up now is a very good question. It means uh, one must have think here uh, uh, a lot to answer this uh, question. Let's enter into that question. Ma. Let's enter into that question. The question is, yes, let me write the question first. So the interviewer started uh, interview like this. The question first he asked is, uh, we are conducting fault analysis on no loaded generator. Why it is? We all know that uh, pre-fault voltage of a no load generator is more than pre-fault voltage of a loaded generator. If pre-fault voltage is more of a no loaded generator, then the fault current magnitude of uh, no loaded generator is going to be more compared to loaded generator means we have to design our protection system equipment for the worst possible case in the power system network that worst possible case is possible only with no loaded generator okay so that answer all of us know then the extension of the question is there is a three phase synchronous generator yes let me take up a three phase synchronous generator yes this is three phase star connected synchronous generator yes star connected three phase synchronous generator and neutral of the generator is isolated means neutral of the generator is not connected to ground that is not connected to ground and the generator is connected to a long transmission line this generator is connected to a long transmission line and no load is connected no load is connected yes let me draw it clearly yes this is phase b phase c. and this is phase a connected to long transmission line yes and a line to ground fault occurred on one of the phase on phase a yes this is phase a this is phase b this is phase c a line to ground fault occurred yes a line to ground fault occurred on phase A. Now, is there a closed path for the flow of fault current or not? If there is no closed path, fault current is not flowing, for example. If there is no fault current flowing, whether this case is an advantage or a disadvantage with respect to power system, can you explain what that is exactly happening in this system? So, here this is a relay and circuit breaker combination of phase A. This relay and circuit breaker combination of phase B. This relay and circuit breaker combination of phase C. Now, if you observe, if you observe which fault got occurred here, line to ground fault. Now, if we take this one as E A, this is E B, yes, and this is E C, E C. Now, the closed path for the fault current, the possible closed path for the fault current is this is neutral. Yeah, the the fault current must take this path yes the fault current must take this path from here to the ground but here there is an open circuit here there is an open circuit there is no closed path the student will say that yes sir there is no closed path for the fault current means if lg fault occurs if we are not connecting the neutral of the generator to the ground there is no closed path for the fault current if fault current is not flowing there is no consequence no consequences because of huge value of fault current. Why? Because fault current itself is not there. Then many students will feel that, sir, this case is an advantage for us. No fault current is flowing. Then it is an advantage for us. Is it? No. Let's see what really happening in this case. Yeah. There is no closed path for the flow of fault current through this ground. Why? Because neutral of the generator is not grounded. First disadvantage of this case is, or this uh, uh, condition is, uh, your fault is not detected by the protection system equipment, uh, though there is a fault. If this is zero volt, this is also zero volt. Though there is a fault in the system, the fault is not detected by the protection system equipment. Means never the fault will be isolated. Fault keeps continuing. Why? Because if there is fault current flowing, yeah, as there is no closed path, Fault current will not flow as of now. Let's see what happens later. Okay, as there is no closed path for the first of all, fault current will not flow. If fault current is not flowing, this uh, circuit breaker and relay combination, yes, 
this circuit breaker relay combination will not recognize the fault and never the fault will be isolated from the system that is one disadvantage let's draw the circuit once again and analyze yeah i told you that this generator is connected to which transmission line ma long transmission line now i'm drawing the diagram once again all of you observe carefully yes this is a phase a this is a phase b and this is a phase c yes this is the neutral which is not connected isolated neutral it is not connected to the ground okay yeah now if you observe carefully yes this is phase a this is b and uh, let me take some more length this is a uh, phase b and uh, this is a uh, phase c yeah now lg fault got occurred lg fault got occurred on phase a yes this is a uh, lg fault zero volts this is the ground yeah now there will be capacitance for each phase this is phase a capacitance but uh, what is this voltage this is this is zero this is also zero now what is this voltage this is also zero therefore how much current that can flow in this one that is zero amperes but there is a capacitance that is formed from phase b yes this is uh, now let's see let's see what happens from phase c also there will be capacitance formed from phase c also there is some capacitance formed now observe it carefully observe it carefully now we previously understood that there is no closed path for the flow of fault current but now you can find a closed path for the flow of fault current how see uh, according to law of conservation of charge or according to kcl where current starts again it has to end there only yes law of conservation of charge where the where the current starts again it has end there now this is ea fault current is from phase a this is eb this is ec this is plus minus minus plus minus and plus now fault current started here fault current started here observe carefully here it started from here like this the fault current is flowing flowing yes now it came now it is finding closed path through the capacitances uh, through the virtual these are not physical capacitances what we connected uh, through these uh, capacitances the yes uh, there is a closed path like this and uh, through this capacitance also there is a closed path but does uh, thousands of amperes is possible to flow through these uh, formed virtual capacitances not possible very small amount of fault current will flow through these capacitances why because the current that is flowing through the capacitance is a charging current displacement current not conduction current that is very small now what is the problem sir here there is relay and circuit breaker yes here there is relay and circuit breaker combination yes here there is relay and circuit breaker combination here there is relay and circuit breaker combination that protection system equipment is unable to recognize the fault fault will not be cleared this point we already saw then what is the extra point we are going to learn here now observe all of you here carefully this is phase b this is phase b yes i want i want voltage of phase b this is a b i want see the voltage from conductor to zero volts is called as phase voltage let's find that let's find that now i want this e b i want this e b okay let's calculate it let's calculate it this e b is the, this different from this e b ma let me take uh, uh, this way okay let me take this way this is uh, e b i want so this is the e b is the voltage that is appearing across uh, the insulation of overhead transmission line because this is transmission line phase b transmission line phase c transmission line phase a okay now let's calculate it i am writing kvl i am writing kvl minus eb yes minus eb yes i am going like this plus eb plus eb again i have to come here to make a closed path yeah my closed path here is uh, my closed path here is yes uh, i am closing like this my closed path is this one yeah this is the closed path observe it carefully all of you observe it minus eb plus eb plus yes plus is it plus no not plus it is minus 
minus Ea is equal to 0. Now Eb is equal to Ea minus Eb that is equal to Eab. Observe it carefully. Phase voltage became equal to line voltage. Yeah, I will show you in a diagram. I will show you in a diagram. Yes, I will show you in a diagram. Yes, that is. Uh, now, if you take up a transmission tower like this, if you take up a transmission tower like this, just a half part of the transmission tower I am taking, remaining half part will be this one. Okay. Now, this is the cross arm. Now, these are the overhead line insulators. These are the overhead line insulators. Yes. Come here. These are the overhead line insulators. And this is the conductor. This is the conductor. Now, what is this voltage? This voltage ma? Zero. Suppose if this is a conductor B. Yes, sir. this is phase B. In fact, uh, this is phase B. Yes, this is phase B. And I am finding EB. Yeah, the voltage that is going to appear here is EB. Small EB, please. That small EB is equal to EAB. But we designed, yeah, overhead line insulation has to be designed with respect to per phase peak value of voltage, per phase, not with respect to line. But here, how much voltage that is appearing across here, if neutral of the generator is not grounded line voltage, let me write the note point here. If, uh, if, uh, if neutral of the generator, neutral of generator is not grounded and LG fault occurs LG fault LG fault occurs then then phase voltage will rise to phase voltage will rise to yes line voltage line voltage due to which due to due to that due to that overhead line insulation will fail yes what will happen man due to that overhead line insulation will fail overhead line insulation will fail so that is the main disadvantage if neutral of the generator is not grounded and one more disadvantage is never the fault will be recognized by the protection system equipment why because the fault current is very very small some people will look in this way sir if the fault current is very small what is the problem we are going to face okay fault current is very small there is no physical damage for the equipment in that way but if that continues phase voltage will become equal to line voltage due to which overhead line insulation will fail if overhead line insulation will fail what happens observe it carefully here again <coughs> sorry this phase is directly connected to ground again lg fault occurred here like that all three phases will fail therefore which fault is going to happen triple l fault is going to happen which is more severe fault entire system will damage that's why neutral of the generator must and should be grounded neutral of the synchronous generator must and should be grounded so this was the question asked in baba atomic Research center interview okay for the post of a scientist job uh, through gate score or after clearing your written examination here almost uh, half an hour will run on this sub sorry, on this topic only if, suppose if, if this is the question asked for you almost half an hour you have to spend or they will ask many cross questions here why this why that what happens this way and that way so i covered all possible uh, questions in this one okay thank you